Okay, so I just want to put this at the very beginning of this video. Mainly because I have failed to show that I'm running APP on Windows 7 in this particular portion of this video. I don't know why I failed to do that, but for the first part of this video, I'm running Windows 7. And of course, if I go, and of course, you can see here, the second part of this video will be uh, me trying to play APP Reloaded on Windows 10. I am playing APP on this little laptop here, which is currently running a CMU and whatnot. Granted, if I uh, get out of the menu, the frame rate just tanks. So, why this renders, I'm going to see if it's possible to beat Ganon at 5 frames a second. So, uh, at least I'll be able to keep, my, keep myself entertained while uh, I wait for this to uh, do its job and then I go upload to YouTube and post it to the uh, AVP forums and watch the uh, trolls go at me. Alright, so next game is APP Reloaded. I don't play this game that often like I used to, unfortunately, due to the uh, cheating problem that this game still unfortunately has, even under new developers. Though the new developers seem to be a lot more open to what's going on with the game, so I'm happy with them. They're better than little than uh, Gamer First ever, were, ever was. But as you can tell, I got the FPS counter right here, current FPS and whatnot. And actually for the settings I'm using, I'm basically using the stock settings the game gave me. The only thing I did was turn this off and turn off dynamic shadows and blob shadows. Those are the only two things I turned off. And then we got little assholes like him. This game also has a massive uh, Brazilian cheater problem too, which is another reason why I don't play this game that often. The only reason why I play this game in the first place is due to near character and car near unlimited, unlimited character and car customization. Even though my customization skills for my character is uglier than fucking sin, but still. I think what I'll do when I go to the uh, Windows 10 ver when I go to the Windows t when when I go to show this game running on Windows 10 is I'll load onto one of my other accounts with with characters that actually look a little bit more refined in their uh, character customization because I got a few on another account that look really good for me not really having any good uh, customization skills when it comes to facial features and whatnot, but still. The only, re the only draw this game has for me is a near unlimited car and character customization. Can't tell you how many, si how many times I've seen some Weibo dressed up as, as some retard from Dragon Ball or some Naruto weeb running around and I get into a freaking, uh, freaking uh, mission with them and I run them over in my freaking car. It feels so good running those type of weebs over. But with that said, let's get on with the Windows 10 comparison. Okay, so I got done installing APP Reload and I was getting ready to start the video. Unfortunately, I did not record this, so maybe it might happen again. But when I hit start on the uh, launcher to actually load the game up, instead of the game actually loading like it should, it freaking green screened on me and crashed. Instead of the normal blue screen of death, it just, I don't know if I'll do it again though. There it goes again! Ouch! Just ouch! Uh, I don't know what to do! I mean, I could go back to a previous version of Windows 10, but I shouldn't have this problem. 
What I'm going to end up doing is at the end of this video, I'm going to uh, put the exact same build onto one of my other computers and try to run APP again. So, uh, yeah, I. <laughs> wow. Just wow, stupid Windows 10. Alright, so one more time with APP Reloaded. Again, as you saw in the Win Windows 7 uh, run of APP Reloaded, the game was running just fine. The frame rates were low, yes, but the game was running. Unlike Windows 10, I'm getting freaking blue screens of... GREEN SCREENS OF DEATH! There she goes again. Ooh, that's what it did last. That's what it did initially. <sighs> this is... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the whole process. Well, actually, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and install GTA 5 onto this thing and then see what happens with GTA 5. I'm adding this at the very end of the video. I just want to say that you have to stop and pause for a second to be amazed that CMU actually runs on this Lenovo laptop. Even though it's running at 5 frames per second, those 5 FPS is how this emulator used to run on my main system here, which has an Intel i5-2400, 6 gigs of RAM, and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950, 2 gigs of VRAM. I can now run Breath of the Wild on my main system and get around 25 to 30 FPS. And this simulator has only been out for what, I believe like a year, year or so? And to go from 5 FPS, like on my, on the little laptop here, to playable 20 FPS, is really, really amazing. I just wanted to, again, pop in and just say that this simulator has gone a long ways. And who knows, by the end of next year, this game might be able to get a full 20 FPS on this laptop here. Hopefully that will eventually happen. I don't know though because this game is kind of graphically intense even for this poor little thing. But who knows, maybe like I said, maybe by the end of the next year this I'll be able to actually get a playable frame rate.